Hey, what's up, everybody? Todd White with Spin Around Sound. Man, we are excited to bring you our second episode on our YouTube channel. So thanks so much for joining. We, I, you know, I told you about a week or so ago that there is an episode coming up that you do not want to miss. I told you guys that the episode we was going to be titled From Bride to DJ. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about tonight. So Welcome in, Kelsey. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me. Good. Thanks for coming on. So this is Kelsey. Um, Kelsey and I, let me let me start this off by saying you and I didn't meet. I mean, we never knew each other, no, right? Yeah. So Kelsey never, you know, Kelsey and I did not know each other at all. Um, Kelsey and her, well, then fiance, but now husband, Anthony, yep. they hired Spin Around Sound to be the DJ at their wedding. Yep. Um, this was back in, I think we hired you guys in like 2019. Okay. Okay. And the wedding was in 2021. Uh -oh. I say, don't, don't get your date wrong. <laughs> Anthony will be watching this. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, so we didn't know each other. She hired us and we did her wedding. And then the next thing you know, uh, you know, she mentioned something about being a DJ. I thought she was kind of joking at the time. Um, and then one thing led to another, and now she is on our team. So yep. we are super excited to have Kelsey uh, on our team now. She um, she does an amazing job. So if you've had the opportunity to have her as the DJ at one of your events, you know you're welcome. Uh, so <laughs> she does a great job keeping the dance floor pack, packed, playing all the good music. So, anyways, but tonight we're going to talk about kind of from a bride standpoint. Yep. Okay, so what I want to ask, what I want to talk to Kelsey about is, you know, if you're a bride and you're watching this episode and you're trying to figure out, you know, what kind of a DJ you want or how you find a DJ, I'm going to ask her to kind of go back in her mind and think of it as what she was when she was a bride. So, so let me ask you this. Was the DJ one of your first things you booked, or was it one of the last things you booked? How did you, how did yeah. you and Anthony go about it? So the DJ was actually our third vendor we booked. So um, the venue came first, and then the photographer, and then the DJ. Okay. Um, and that was important to us because at the end of the day, you know, we we of course the caterer and all the decorations, all that's important. But we wanted our guests to have fun. We sure. wanted entertainment because 20 years from now, that's what they're going to remember. Right. How much fun they had that night. And so the DJ was really high on our priority list. So we booked you guys pretty early okay. on okay. the planning um, because I, you know, after reading reviews, I was like, yes, this is definitely what I want. So so let me let me ask, how did you hear about us? Do you remember? How did you find out about so us? So the venue we got married at, you guys were one of the preferred venues. Okay. The preferred vendors there. Okay. Um, and so there were a couple of them when we did our research on um, the different uh, DJs that we could choose there, and we liked you guys the best. All right, well, easy enough. <laughs> okay, so so you picked it. So so what kind of research? You said you did research. What kind of research? So tell yeah. the brides that are that you know that may be watching this whether they're going to use us, whether they're in you know the Louisville area, or if they're in California and they happen to stumble across this video. What research would you recommend? What research yep. did you do? Um, so I definitely looked you guys up on all the main wedding sites, um, Facebook definitely, um, and looked at your reviews, found some videos of you know parties that you guys did, and then just conversation with you. I reached out to you, um, and we had the conversation and just kind of asked like you know some main questions that I wanted answered, mm -hmm. um, and I did that with a couple of ones and liked your own answers the best. Okay. So, do you remember the questions? Yep. Um, so, I think the most... I, I guess, not to interrupt you, but I guess what I'm trying to get at is not necessarily maybe do you remember the exact questions, but thinking about it now from a bride's, you know, perspective, what questions right. would you ask? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that's what, yeah. Um, so, I think... When you're looking for a DJ, it's important to ask um, how they get the crowd engaged because that was one of my biggest fears. Like, I'm not going to have people on the dance floor, and that scared me. Sure. Um, so having that conversation, like, do you guys have someone on the mic that's going to get your crowd engaged? Um, you know, how many people do you guys have? Because a lot of places I've found only have one person, and they don't necessarily have an MC to run your event to, you know, do everything. Um, which is what I really liked about Spin Around Sounds is that we have two people at every event, or at the time you guys had two people right. at every event. Um, and I think that's important, definitely, um, because you know your DJ should be more than just playing your music. Your right. DJ is there to help your event run smoothly. 
Um, I think something else is really important is, at least for me, it was, um, can you guys help me pick the songs? Because sure. I didn't know what songs I wanted for a bouquet toss or what to enter into the reception to. And, and I know like ours, for example, I didn't really want like the traditional bouquet and garter toss and we ended up doing ours together. together. Right. I and I remember that. reaching out and be like, I don't know what song would fit this kind of right. thing. Right. Um, and so being able to have someone knowledgeable with, you know, beats and, um, you know, how the music is going to go together and fit that kind of event your wedding was important to me right right so i i guess um so you picked your venue you picked your photographer i think you said right yeah and then you picked your dj so i, I guess um is there anything that you would i guess watch out for if you were a bride coming in um looking for a dj or anything thinking back you're thinking you know now oh i probably should have watched your you know or watch out for this or make sure you look for this or whatever now that you're kind of in the business um i think it you know find someone that you connect with that you know it's and a lot of vendors are going to tell brides this you know they want to be like one of they want you to be a friend or a family on sure. that day because they're a part of the biggest day of your right, life right um so don't be afraid to to ask vendors in dj any type of vendor just to have a conversation see if you get along with them um, because personalities have to click because you don't want, you know, that clashing of personalities on the best day of your life. Right. Um, and so just that would, is one of the biggest things. Okay. Would you say that, um, would you say that a phone call, FaceTime, or a face-to-face -face meeting is the most important in those three? Like if you're trying to connect with them. Yeah. Can you do that over a phone call, or do you think you need to meet with them, or, or what? Do you, what's your thoughts? I mean, I think everyone's different. Um, you know, everyone has personal preference on how they interact with others. I know a lot of people, like friends, especially of mine, would prefer a phone call. I like in person just because sure. um, I'm kind of extroverted. I like right. to talk. I like to interact with people. <laughs> um, so that's my preference. My husband, on the other hand, would be the complete opposite and prefer a phone call or even a text message. Right. And he would be happy. Right. Right. Um, so just your personal preference um, and having someone that's flexible and can offer all sort of um, meeting options. Sure. Is, okay. It's great. Okay. So, you know, so like I said before to the viewers out there, you know, Kelsey and I, we had no idea who each other was. Um, we, we had never met. She, you know, she hired us. Um, it was a great event. Yes. Um, you know, we was, her and I was talking the other night, I think, and, and I went back and looked at some of the, the Facebook video that, you know, we'll probably show during this so they can kind of get a peek of it. But, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of stuff that, that, that goes into it. Um, you know, that I'm afraid that maybe brides don't see and things like that. But, yeah. but the cool thing is, is that now she works for us. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I, I say she works for us, but really she works with us. <laughs> so I always hate to think that it's for, you know, anybody works for me because we're a huge team. Oh, yeah. Um, so tell me, I, I guess, let, let's, let's back up a little bit. So we've talked mm -hmm. about it as a bride. Okay. Um, so tell everybody, you know, so... You know, our hope is that if you're looking to hire a DJ service, they stumble across these videos, our Facebook page, our Instagram page, and they kind of get an idea of who we are, what we do, our personalities and things like that. Yeah. So with that in mind, for anybody that's watching, tell us a little bit about Kelsey um, and tell us a little bit, you know, like, where, are you from here? Just give us a little, give everybody a little bit, not too much information. Yeah, give yeah. A little bit of Absolutely. background about where you, about who, who Kelsey is. Yeah. So, um, I'm from, you know, the Southern Indiana area. I've been here my whole life. It's kind of where I grew up. Um, I love music. You know, I, I always have, um, I'm not musically talented by any means. I cannot <laughs> play an instrument, that's for sure. All right. Don't ask me to sing at anything, because that's not going to happen very well. Okay. Um, but I, I've always liked listening to music, and I listen to all sorts of different kinds of music. Um. And I just like to have fun. You know, you can ask any of my friends. I'm definitely that friend who just enjoys to be around people and just likes to make sure everyone is having fun. Um, 
That's kind of me. We have some married now, obviously. Yeah, yeah. We got a wonderful dog. I love him so much. He's our baby. Um, so I'm definitely a dog person. Uh, I love animals. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's a little bit about custom. So, so let's talk about, um, I guess, you know, at the wedding, um, I don't remember if it was at a meeting we had before the wedding or if it was at the wedding or, or, or what, but you know, you mentioned DJ. And so what mm -hmm. made you think, hey, I would like to do this? Oh my gosh. So our wedding was the best night of my life. Oh, everyone says stop. that. No, and then <laughs> everyone says it and it sounds like such a cliche. And so going through the wedding planning process, I was like, oh my gosh, everyone says that. But right, it's right. true. It really really was we had so much fun and it was too thanks to you guys thanks right, to the dj right, right. um well i mean that not to cut you off there but i think you know when people you know i talk to a lot of a, a lot of people about dj service and i'm like djs the dj will make or break your party absolutely yeah so. oh wholeheartedly they will um if you get a dj who's not engaging you're not your crowd's not going to get excited and they're not going to get engaged and so your dj absolutely is super important to your party um and it was we just had so much fun and i mean i still i know it's only been a year but i still have people come to me saying that was the best wedding we've ever been to like we had so much fun at your all's wedding i'm like i know it was pretty great <laughs> um so after we just i mean we just had so much fun and i was like you know what i want to do that for other people i want to be a part of other people's best day of their lives and help them have the best day of their life right um and help them have fun and you know with me like the music and i was like that's what i want to do and so that's when we re i reached out and i was like hey tell me about this all right, all right. if you ever need help uh, <laughs> i'd be interested yes so. um so okay so so you reached out and i and i said i think i remember saying well you know just come with this one night and see what you think yeah um, and I think you can, I think the first event you went to was maybe at the refinery and it was, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you showed up and typically, you know, when, when I have someone come in to try it out, I don't like typically they just stand there and watch, but I have a feeling and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like you were working. The oh first yeah. Night. Absolutely. Okay. That's what I thought. You were all, like, you were working it the first night you were there. Yep. So it was kind of like, it just. Like you were made for this. Yes. So, um, you know, and I have to say, you know, from the day one to now, um, you know, you have, I mean, like the event we did this weekend, um, you know, the crowd is dancing, you're behind the booth dancing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And all, it's just, it, everybody's looking up at you and they're thinking, you know, we're having fun. <laughs> you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, excuse me, I don't really dance as much i mean i do a, i do move a little bit oh, but, I dance. but i'm kind of always I, i'm doing the walking around and stuff and, and kelsey's the one you know playing the music and i mean she's back there just like she's at a, a super party too. Like, yeah, I mean, she is just back there getting down so you know but i think that's great i think people see you know your dj's having fun it kind of just helps with the whole oh yeah moment. um so you know so so what do you think now that you've done it for a while? I mean, what's your thoughts? I mean, what do you... Oh, I love it. I love every single event that I do. Um, I, I, again, I, I'm back there dancing because I like to have fun. Right. Um, and it is, it's such a blast. And I love, you know, doing ceremonies too and just seeing the love that brides and grooms have um, and being a part of that. It, it makes me so happy. Um, to know that I'm a part of their life. Um, and I just, like I said, I love the party. I, right. I love to right. make people dance. It's so much fun. And um, there's some pretty good dancers out yeah. there. Yeah, there. I've is. seen some pretty good ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I love it. Okay. So, um, so what else, I mean, what else did you have for, for today's episode? Anything that you want to talk about, mention, or, or bring up, or anything at all? Yeah, I mean, I think if you're planning your wedding, first, congratulations to all the brides, you know, brides-to-be watching this video. Um, it, it, planning a wedding is, can be so stressful, but it also can be so much fun, too. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's not you guys. It's your day, whatever you guys want um, for your wedding, whatever you guys are going to be happy with you and your significant other, whether that be husband, wife, um, whatever you guys, um, 
just have fun with it. You know, don't get so stressed out. You know, just, you know, when you're booking your vendors, just keep in mind that at the end of the day, it's, it's not, it's just you guys. It's all about you two and your love and the celebration um, of your all's love and your all's life together. Right, so, right. Um, DJs are obviously, like we've said, a huge component of that, you know, making sure your event runs smoothly um, because that's something that we, I think, sets us apart from a lot of the other DJs that just during the planning process talk to is we do have that second person there that's making sure you're kind of on timeline for your reception so you sure, can yeah. have a dance floor right. so you can right. dance um, and things don't get back behind because it's very easy to get behind at a reception because you want to see all your guests right right um so just you know enjoy this season of your life um it's going to be fun and if you guys you know want to book us i hope i get to see you guys and have fun <laughs> with you because i will be back there partying with you guys for sure so um so yeah you know going back to the whole um you you said that you know people are still talking about your your wedding reception and yeah. things and um I, I can't have an episode with you on it without talking about your mom oh yeah <laughs> so um your mom is a huge fan she is she's a huge and i think I mean, she's not she she's a huge fan because kelsey is on the team now but I think she was a huge fan before that came yeah, about. Yeah, she so, was. Um, she was a huge part of our planning process. Yeah. I did nothing without my mom. Right, um, right. My husband would probably say my mom did more decision-making than he did for the wedding. <laughs> he didn't care. He was right. like, I'm just going to show up that day. You guys take care of it. Um, so my mom was with me for most of our planning meetings and stuff. So, um, yeah, she loved you guys, too, yeah. from the moment she met you Yeah, all. she's great. She... Um, you know, the only interaction I've had with her is just at the, the wedding itself. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she's um, she she likes all of our posts. And she <laughs> shares what she can. And one day she's going to find the bell. Yeah, she the, is. <laughs> so she'll get her, the YouTube alerts and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, she, she's always been a big fan. And, and now, I mean, I think she even sees now that you're doing it. It's just she's really, you know, she's a bigger fan than what she was. Absolutely. She's huge. Shout out to my mom so, yeah. for always being so supportive oh, yeah. oh, of yeah. everything that we and, do. And speaking of that, you know, talk about supportive stuff, Anthony. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you're going from being home every weekend night yeah. to some months, you're, you may be DJing every weekend. Yeah. So how do you think that, how, how did that change? I mean, you know, because you guys, how long have you all been together? Um, about four years. Okay, so four years. So for four years, you guys had the weekends. You all was together. You all did things. Now all of a sudden, oh, hey, I'm going to DJ. Hey, I'm going to DJ. Right. How do you think that, how did you all work through that? How did that play, play out? My husband is the best human being I've ever met in my entire life. Um, he is so incredibly supportive of everything I ask, everything I want to do. He does not hold me back he does not and that's something I'm so thankful for sure um because I have a big personality um and he is just so supportive of me and he knows because I've had this conversation with him like do you care that I'm I'm gone on the weekends right. um right. and especially during you know his busy season I don't I don't see him except for one day a week and like at home of course at dinner sure. um and so I've asked him like you care that I'm, I'm gone and he's like no because I can tell you're happy sure and I can tell you are happy doing this and that this makes you happy and so that makes me happy sure um so I'm very very supportive and very grateful for him um just kind of letting me have fun and, and understanding that right right not caring really yeah. well I mean it's you know it's it's not only the support you know that he gives but it's the it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a big adjustment. I mean, you're talking, if you have an event that starts at six o'clock, I mean, sometimes we get there at two thirty, yeah. three o'clock. I mean, we're there all day. And then you're there all day. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just hiring you for, for a six hour event. It's like, well, you are, but that's a 10 hour day for us. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, well, that's good. I, that's good. I mean, he's always been, um, you know, it seems like he's always been very supportive of, of you guys or of you and, and of us doing this thing. So, oh, yeah. um, but yeah, I was just curious how that works, you know, because you guys were always home together and everything. So, you know, I know it's hard, you know, 
just speaking of the support with, you know, with my wife and kids, and, you know, they have to understand that we're gone all the time. And, you know, on the weekend, some months, you know, we get a couple weekends free, but, yeah. you know, looking at the, the future of this year, we're not going to have very many weekends. Yeah, we're pretty free. <laughs> so, um, you know, 2023 is already booking up quite a bit. So, yeah. You know, it's just one of those things that, you know, you can hire more people, but if we do that, then you don't get Kelsey on the ones and twos out there at your event. No. And she don't get to party and have fun. I know. So, um, so that's good. So that's good. So uh, what else? What else are we going to talk about? What do you think? Um, well, Todd, I guess, it, you know, you've asked me if, there, if there's anything that I want to tell the viewers, you know, kind of watching, but is there anything that you want to let them know, like kind of with hiring a DJ, something that you think is important for them to know? Well, you know, and I think we may have touched on this a little bit in our first episode, but I can't 100% remember, but, but you know, I, I had a meeting with um, uh, Josh and Christina from the Ring Bling and all the things. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you haven't uh, subscribed to their you know, podcast, their, their Facebook, their Instagram, their, all their stuff, and you're a bride, um, and make sure you do that. There's a lot of vendor information on yeah. there that you can find out. So it's it's great. So make sure it's the ring, the bling, and all the things. So shout out to them. A little little plug. For yeah, them. absolutely. Little, give me a little cash money for that. <laughs> so uh, so uh, you know, so we talked a little bit about this, I think. But when I had a meeting with them, we talked about, and there's a podcast coming up. I think it's going to be uh, released around the 17th, okay. where I went into the studio and I talked to them and and told them, you know, we just had this discussion and um, about DJ and and they kind of asked me kind of the same thing. Yeah. And there's really three or four questions you want to ask every DJ, in my opinion. Number one, are you available? <laughs> yeah, that's a big that's one. That's a big one. <laughs> Number two, are you insured? That, that's you know, a big one. There are so many venues out there now that you have to have insurance. Right. So, you know, are you insured? Number three, which is, do you bring backup equipment? So, you know, if I show up to your wedding and my laptop goes down, is your party over? Right. Or am I going to have another laptop to get you through the night? Right. Um, so that's, you know, do you bring backup equipment? And then I think, you know, another big question is, do you stream all of your music? You know, so if you stream, do you, really, do you want the Wi-Fi password to the big thing? Because if you stream all your music and for some reason the Wi Fi is out or the internet goes down, what yeah, happens to my bar? Happens, right. So I think that's four big questions that, that everybody should ask. I mean, like I told them when we did that podcast, and you know, I could say the same to you. I could talk hours and hours about what things you should ask, things you shouldn't ask, mm -hmm. you know, red flags and whatever. I mean, but you know, that could Yeah. Could I add another big question yeah, that yeah. I think Bryce is one do you take requests because you want to know what your guest wants to listen to but sure. then on the flip side of that is do you take songs that i do not want played at my wedding because i right. know for us there were a certain song that we just did not want played mm -hmm. um just because you know we had a lot of older family members and work colleagues and just didn't want um certain songs played sure. yeah. um and so i think that's an important question to ask right. as well when you're going through it just to make sure everything is Lady that you sure. Vision it. Sure. And, and just so to that point, you know, that you asked, why don't you tell them, uh, you know, you asked, do you take requests? Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you brought that up. So why don't you fill them in if they're watching and they're thinking, okay, these guys are, you know, these guys I kind of vibe with and, and it's something I may want them to be in my wedding. How does the request work when you book with us? Yeah. So, um, when you book with us, first thing that you will get as the couple is, you know, you'll get like a form to fill out with, you know, what songs are you, first if you're doing ceremony and reception or just right. reception, you know, what do you want your songs walking down the aisle to, what do you want your entrance songs, cake songs, sure. what songs yep. do you want at your event, and then there is a question like what songs are on the no playlist, like what do you not want heard at your event, 
um, and do not be afraid to fill put socks there right. because that's, I mean, that's, what, it's that's there. what it's there for. Right. So don't yeah. be afraid. We're not going to care if you don't want a thong at your event. We're just going to make sure that that's not played at your right. event. Right. Um, day of event, if you want to request, we have a really cool thing. It's called um, like Request Now, I think is the name yeah. of it. Yep. And we put these little postcards on the table, and there's a QR code that you scan, and you can text in your request to us. It comes to our iPad, and we can see everyone's request there for the night, um, which I think is awesome, especially because guests can start requesting as soon as they see it, as soon as they sit down. Um, they get at their table, they can start requesting, so we can get a lot of those songs in during dinner, during cocktail hour, during, um, you know, down times sure. of the reception. Sure. Um, and I love that feature, um, just because technology is such a big part of our, our culture. But if you do have people that aren't technology savvy, like my mother, who cannot figure out the bell on YouTube, <laughs> um, you can come up to us. We're not going to just turn you away and say, nope, go scan the QR code. You can come up to us. Can someone still... go to your mom's house and please show her the bell? <laughs> <laughs> we will still take your request verbally by coming up. Right. You know, we will right. listen to you. So, and, and that, you know, to that point, last night was we had we had three events yesterday, and the, the event that we were able to do, we did the request request now, and I mean, how did that turn out? Oh, great! We had a lot of requests yeah. coming in. Yeah. Um, I mean, from like the second people walked in to the second the dance floor ended, we had a lot of requests on. Right. It was awesome. I think it's a great feature. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. So. Like you said, technology's come a long way. So, um, but you know, I, I don't have anything else. I don't think that that I want to talk about. I just really wanted to bring you in to say, hey, you know, you were a bride. How did that look when you was looking to book a DJ? And now that you're a DJ, how does that feel? How does that work in your daily life and things like that? So, it's um, it, it's funny because we'll be at weddings and. They'll be like, oh, I know, I know her. Oh, I know her. <laughs> it's like, you know, so Kelsey's very well known in the community. So if you do know her, yep. uh, you know her personality, you know how she is, um, and you know she would be great at your event, yep. um, you know. So, and that's why, I mean, we brought her on. Yep. So, you know, it takes a lot of, you know, personality to be able to be on our team. Um, yes. Just because the way we are, <laughs> because the way we are, the way we like to, you know, it's like a big family. So that goes sure. back to my whole thing of saying, you know, hashtag we are family on some of our posts. We had shirts that made that used to say we are family um, because that's kind of how we, you know, it's not just us. It's everybody that, that supports us and everybody that, that books us and everybody that, you know, shares our posts and things like that. So it's huge, mm -hmm. huge for all of us. Absolutely. So, so any closing remarks? No, I thank you guys for listening. Um, thank you guys for checking us out. Um, I hope you guys consider us. Fill out a request. We'll, you know, Todd can con or Dave can contact you with a quote. And hope I get to meet you guys yeah, soon. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Um, you know, I, I think I, I, I told you last night, and I text after the event was over. I know I, you know, but thank you for being on the team. Yeah, I really. I mean, what you bring to our team is 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 huge. It's it's great. So we love having you on here. Well, thank um, you for letting me. Yeah, join absolutely, the team. absolutely. So you know, shout out to Anthony for yes. letting us borrow her on the weekend. <laughs> uh, but uh, but hopefully, I, I keep telling you, bring him out with you. I know. Like bring him over. Let's let's go. We'll, we'll we'll show him how to do things. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, our next episode will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. It is going to be another good one. You're not going to want to miss it. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and also make sure you ring the bell. Click the bell, hit the bell, whatever it is you got to do to get the bell. Unless you're Kelsey's mom. And can't find and it. And can't find the bell, <laughs> call us and we'll come show you or something. So, guys, thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you on our next episode. Take care.